Our top story tonight, three quarters of a million dollars allegedly from taxpayers to her bank account. An explosive investigation from the state treasurer. Good evening from Studio 5, I'm Allison Rosati. And I'm Warner Saunders. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, the state says that it wants its money back. A former employee of the Illinois State Treasurer's Office is charged with embezzling $750,000 in state funds. NBC 5's Lauren Jiggetts reports. She essentially robbed the state's bank in broad daylight. $750,000 in state money. That's how much. A stunning disregard for the public trust and an appalling display of fraud by someone who was supposed to be responsible for protecting taxpayer dollars. For 33 years, 53-year-old Deborah K. Kirby worked in the treasurer's office. An indictment alleges in 2005, when Judy Bartopinka was the state treasurer, Kirby transferred $750,000 in state funds to her own personal bank account in a complicated scheme. The indictment alleges that in October of 2005, she illegally transferred state money into a personal bank account using her elderly mother's address. She used the state's money for her own personal benefit. Kirby was a supervisor within the treasurer's clearing unit and had the authority to make large transfers of money without authorization from other individuals. Kirby retired in 2006 before current treasurer Alexei Janulius took office. He claims under his administration, this alleged crime would not be possible. This administration has already implemented new security measures, including a revamped system of checks and balances that would have prevented Ms. Kirby's alleged crimes. Prosecutors say Kirby also created fraudulent paperwork to cover her trail. If convicted of wire fraud and money laundering, she could face up to 30 years in prison. The state also wants Kirby to pay back over $250,000, the amount she allegedly spent. Allison? Lauren, thank you. 